I just don't understand anymore. I'm too good to you. I'm way too good to you. You're too good to me. I just don't understand anymore. What's up guys? I am so freaking excited, you have no idea. As most of you guys know, I was selected as one of the top 20 for the bodybuilding.com spokesmodel search. Oh my gosh, you have no idea the feelings that gave me. The interaction from you guys, I can't even, I can't even express my gratitude for you guys and everything you've done. I have been using bodybuilding.com as one of my main resources for bodybuilding and fitness knowledge since I was 16 years old, so you can only imagine what a dream this is. I can't even wrap my head around all of this, but anyways, thank you guys so much. It means the world to me. You guys have been so incredibly supportive through everything, and uh, I love you guys. But anyways, today I'm headed to the gym right now to do some fasted cardio. I had a few questions about supplements and if I use supplements before I do my fasted cardio and if fasted cardio is even effective and what the purpose of it is, right? So the logic behind it that kind of created this concept is that you're going to go in to doing some cardio and you're going to automatically burn so much more fat than normal because you have an empty stomach, you're not digesting anything, and your blood sugar levels are low, so your body's not gonna be using glucose for energy anymore, it's gonna shift over to fat and muscle. Well, as far as the science actually goes, none of that is proven. And none of it is actually shown to be truly a more effective form of cardio. The reason why I do fast cardio is purely because it makes me feel good. It starts my day off right, it gets me, gets my mind just properly functioning, gets my blood pump, or <laughs> blood flowing properly and all that. So um, I literally just do it because I like it. There's no other real reason for that and I have to do cardio throughout the day anyways. So I prefer to do a shorter session in the morning and then a short session post-workout because I would prefer not to just be standing on that treadmill in one really long session after my workout and just kind of hanging around and taking forever. It's, it's just, cardio is, as much as I love how it makes me feel, it's definitely not the most enjoyable or entertaining aspect of training. So many people absolutely hate cardio and I, I get it. I didn't do cardio for six, yeah, I didn't do consistent cardio for at least six years of training and bodybuilding and all that stuff, but the last three to four years has been very consistent. So the supplements that I do use in the morning specifically to help with cardio, obviously I take like my staples, which you guys, most of you know, I believe, but things like multivitamins, uh, fish oils or omegas, vitamin C, all, all just the basics. And then the things that specifically help with cardio are caffeine. I usually use a fat burner as well, but I'm out right now. So it, it, it really doesn't make that big of a difference, but just mentally taking a fat burner when I'm using them, it has that placebo effect where mentally I'm just like in the zone and ready for it. Right. But I do use alphamine, which technically is kind of the same concept as a fat burner. Most of the ingredients in there are very similar. It's a very basic uh, ingredient list in there, but one of the main factors that is incredibly crucial is L-carnitine. And L-carnitine is going to help your body transport fats for energy. So when you really just think about it logically, uh, if your body is going to be in a more fat burning state by oxidizing fat molecules, then you're going to burn more fat, right? logic. It also makes you sweat more, raises your, increases your body temperature. And for me, that's another placebo effect as well as helping get water weight out. But anyways, that's everything for right now. I am trying to get more consistent on YouTube again, especially with the spokesmodel search thing going on. Like the drive I have right now is on another level. You guys have no idea. This is, uh, Again, thank you guys so much, and I'm going to take you around today because I feel like vlogging, I feel like getting more consistent, uh, I've, I just want to show you guys a little bit more, alright? So I'll see you in a little bit. That sweet sock tan line now. about something.
something real quick regarding discipline. Utilizing discipline in order to improve your self-esteem and self-respect. When you actually become disciplined, it doesn't matter who you used to be, it doesn't matter whether you used to have terrible discipline, whether you were a major procrastinator, whether you couldn't stick to anything, it does not matter. Like, what you're going to do now is what matters. What you want to become, who you want to become, that's what matters. Quitting became a habit, and then one day everything just kind of, I was so unhappy with myself. This was, I was young, I was a teenager, but I was so unhappy with myself that I said, screw it. Like, who do I respect? What type of people do I respect? I want to become that. So what you guys just saw was a little clip, a little excerpt from the next topic video I'm gonna come out with. You guys know I like mixing it up. Like I really, I have so many things on my mind all the time and my brain just kind of functions in that like, I don't wanna say cliche, but in that like cliche, stereotypical, motivational mindset. That's just how my brain works all day, every day. So coming out with these topic videos really helps me clear my head, helps me get things out that I feel this like heavy weight on my heart to get out to you guys. So expect more of those topic videos coming out just in between vlogs and things like that. It's also going to really help with my consistency because I can film multiple videos in a day and that just really uh, allows me to do this the right way. I'm going tanning right now at Palm Beach Tan. Then I'm going to head home, eat a meal, do some work, and then I will catch up with you guys later because Stace and I have an interesting night ahead. Checking in real quick, it is 5 p.m., so it's been quite a few hours. Right now, I'm actually packing. My room is an absolute mess because the thing about going on any sort of a trip for me is I have to have all my gym stuff together, all my supplements, all my food, and then my actual luggage. So it's like, no matter how short of a trip it is, it could be literally just like less than 24 hours, I still have to bring at least three bags. So. It gets a little nuts. My room's just a flipping whirlwind, but I clean everything up so I can come home to a clean room. But anyways, I'm in a little bit of a rush right now. I'm gonna finish up, get on the road, and I'll fill you in a little bit on way, where we are going. All right, see you soon. What are you doing? Oh my gosh, what have you been drinking Wait, today? Is this what you said you wanted? One blue and one orange, yes, please, thank you. Do you need water or monster or anything? Look at this cute little coffee cup. I just want that. I just want your face. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll some of these. Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> Put it back. <laughs> Do I even like these though? Jeez. Probably not. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. Sorry if it's really loud, we're right by the freeway. But anyways, I I, I'll get down. <laughs> Better? Yeah. So anyways, uh, we are just getting on the road because I actually haven't told anyone this yet. I hope you can hear me. Um, but my grandma actually passed away last week. And I'm okay. My grandpa passed away uh, five or six years ago. She's now with him, so don't feel bad for me. But we are going down to El Centro, or the Imperial Valley, which is right by the border of Mexico, for my grandma's funeral tomorrow. And I am a pallbearer, and we'll be carrying the casket. And so yeah, that's what we're doing, and we're gonna find a gym either on the way or down in El Centro. But that's pretty much the gist of it. Just wanted to let you guys know before we just magically show up at the border of Mexico and you're wondering what the heck is going on. Nothing so, shady. <laughs> nothing shady. Um, so we just grabbed a couple of power aids and monsters and we're gonna get on the road. Alright. Wanna smack it? Bye. What's up guys? So we are here, we finally got to the hotel and uh, checked in, we're at a Holiday Inn Express and it's actually fantastic. We have a little kitchenette here, microwave and mini fridge, everything we need, Keurig with free coffee, free tea, all the goods. But it's about 11 p.m. 
and we still need to work out. So we're gonna go find the closest gym we can. Our gym options are very limited, but I'm sure we will find something. We're gonna go on a little adventure and take you along. This place is amazing. What the heck? And it's all like old beat up equipment, but that's my favorite anyway, so it works. But this is so sick. So that was literally a, we walked in there at like 11.10 or 11.15. Took our sweet time to really get started. And it said it was open 24 hours and they closed at midnight. <laughs> it's okay though. Uh, we got a few things in. I'm just gonna really have to bust out some more back tomorrow. Hopefully we can come back here tomorrow because this place was sweet. I it was just, really cool. Everything can track so much better on the old equipment. I can't even and explain it. And the people were really friendly. They were. It's true. Really, really, really friendly. I'm just really pumped they were loaded up on PE science. That blew my mind. That was cool. Literally, the whole store was basically PE science. Mm -hmm. So that was sick. Magnificent lighting. Definitely made me look way more shredded than I actually am. <laughs> you live shredded. Though. Anyways... It's 12.30 in the morning right now. We're exhausted. What's We're gonna go grab what we need, get back to the hotel room. She's gonna go pass out. I'm gonna eat and hopefully sleep because if I don't, I'm gonna lose my freaking mind at the funeral tomorrow. That's and not good. I definitely need some sleep because otherwise I will most likely get emotional, you know. I tend to get more emotional when I'm exhausted. That's okay. Like a little baby girl. You have me. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really freaking enjoyed today. I can't even tell you how good it feels to vlog again. I miss it so much. Woo! <sighs> Did you miss it? Yes. A little bit? Mm -hmm. Not as much as I used to, but like you wouldn't be happy if I was doing it every single day, right? I would let you do whatever you need to do. You're the 
the best. Just don't make me do it every single day. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I promise. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys. We love you. Thank you guys. We love you. You're the best. You're the best. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. I just don't understand No, I'm too good to you I'm way too good to you You're too good to you I just don't understand it